So this is a box of letters that my grandmother saved. They were written to her from my grandfather during World War II. There so are a lot of letters in here. Oh my goodness. 115. These letters were lovingly written by 19-year-old Frederick Gillard to his sweetheart, Ruth. Discovered by their daughter one day when she was cleaning out, Ruth told her to throw them all away. The family is glad they didn't, because the more than 100 letters is not only a glimpse into their love story, but gives an insight into the personal side of World War II between 1944 and 1945. Dear Ruth, well, darling, I finally arrived over here but can't say where I am. Fred's grandson, Billy, has painstakingly transcribed every letter. And I know it's going to be a real happy day for both of us when I get back. But in the meantime, we will have, a long, have to get along by letter. And I hope, let's hope that's not for very long. While these are mostly love letters, because the details of the war couldn't be shared as the letters were censored. But they do still have the letter describing Fred's injuries when he was critically injured in battle. He has a head wound and is not able to concentrate long enough to write himself, as he is still slightly confused, and a shell burst above them, and Grandpa had 19 pieces of shrapnel um, go into his body, and his friend died. At this time, Ruth was working as a bomb girl in Ajax. Fred's parents delivered the news to her. It was the first time that they had met. Don't ever think, dear, that I don't like the idea of you not going up, as I fully realize that it's not an easy thing to do, and I'd not like it so well myself if I were in your place. So he understood that she was a bit shy to go and meet his parents. Every letter with a special farewell. That's how he would sign all those love and kisses is all little X's. And sealed with a secret message. SWA, and this is LK, which I think is sealed with a long kiss. Or loving? Loving kiss, yeah. Sure, by the winter of 1945, at least I believe this war will be over by that time, and I can be back with the only girl I could ever love. He was quite a romantic. He was. <laughs> and it worked. The two were married when he got back and spent the remainder of their lives together. 59 years married. A love story and Canadian history that Billy hopes to share with everyone eventually. He has already made it into a book for his family, but he does hope to edit it down and have it published. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.